So Ubisoft has finally released the new Settlers game. So Settlers New Allies. Um, here's the main menu screen. Um, we're only going to do the tutorials during this video. We haven't tried campaign. I haven't tried skirmish. And you can see there there is a shop as well. So that was on their blog. Um, and the shop only really provides cosmetic changes to the game. A bit like what we saw in Settlers 7. So we just go into the basics and, and the basics just really just show you how to move around the map. So pretty standard. You've got your WASD keys. You can use the mouse. You can zoom in and out. So fairly, very simple with this one. Um, first impression on the graphics. I think I still prefer Settlers 7. The it, it, it does look good. My computer is not high spec, so it is running quite well. I know the graphics setting is low when I made this video. Um, but overall, yeah, I quite like the new shape of the buildings. And I think it'd be interesting to see the three races and their different types. So here comes my first concern, building. So it's done in a hexagonal grid, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, you get some engineers. They can help build. I think you can select them to go or it's automatic. I have, it, it seems to do one or the other. Um, and here we're buying in a, a lumberjack place. And one thing I noticed on the building menu is the lack of buildings. There is a lack of buildings. And that brings up my first concern. So the th one thing I loved about the Settlers game is you can build a different series of buildings to get your outputs in the game. So i.e. you would build a bakery um, which would be attached to a wheat farm and they might have had a well or something to get the water. Now although you can still have the wheat farm, you can still have a bakery, but that is it. So it's just like one or two items. When we go get the storehouse later on in the video, hopefully, um, the number of items now that the or settlers have to collect is is reduced. So that kind of sums up the whole situation now with the just dicks, which is the main part of the settlers game and always has been. Um, a classic example is the rancher now replaces the pig farmer and the butchers is one building. And part of the charm of this game was setting up these logistic lines within the game itself. So that's where my main concern is. The other concern I got is that food, so fishing, bread, and meats, being the main ones. So in regards to that, now only seems to play the part of boosting production. And this too now causes me a bit of concern into why they've decided to go down the route of simplifying the game. The best thing about Settlers was this, it was a long game. You could spend two, three hours on a map on, on your first campaign, just building up your logistics alone and then building up your army to go. So here in this graphic, I, I love, the lumberjack hitting the trees, the trees are shaking. So, you know, you still got the fun animations. You still got, can see them working around, but it is simplified down. It is reduced. The number of buildings needed is lower. Now, why they've done this, I don't know. Has it been simplified for the console market is a question I have to ask. I think I, I really do. Um, here are my engineers are, are building a road. But I think we'll give it a chance. I think with the, having a look at the combat system, um, which on other videos, if you looked around, looks to be okay. Not not brilliant, but okay. But I, I do sadly think they've missed the whole point of the set list. And the whole point of that was just your logistics within the game and just the, the joy of watching all your settlers work. They do have residential buildings. Um, 
you feed them breads um, to help increase your population faster. But I've noticed the boost only gives you a five second boost. So it's really not that much. Um, the miners now, I understand, don't need to have food. So in the original Settlers game, you had to provide food for your miners to mine the ore. That is no longer the case. And mining on this game now is on exploration areas. So your engineer seems to be the main person now doing that. So another example of simplifying. So we used to have geologists um, or pioneers or anyone like that. Now, now your engineer is the main settler. He does the pioneering, he does the exploring, and he does the surveying of mineable materials. I personally, and it is my personal opinion, do not think that's a great choice. I think they needed to add in the separate settlers to do those different jobs. And they could have made a fun mechanic to get you to train them up if, if we had to. Yeah, I... I We'll see how it goes. I think that's how we're going to have to be. We're going to have to see how this goes. I think we need to play it a little bit longer. And try and work with the simplified logistics and that. How easy is it now to win a map? It, the review show is quite quick. You could probably complete a map now in 10 minutes if you can just smash your enemy. How good is the AI and everything else like that? So... Leave comments below if you've already looked at the game, if you looked at the reviews, do agree, do not agree. And going from there, I think we'll bring some more videos out, we'll start going through the campaign. And I think we'll get a really good feel then of how the game actually works. And I'll be interested in what they're going to do to update the game, maybe add some stuff back in and just give it that little bit of extra life that the original Settlers brought to the, this general game. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.